Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good evening, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made, and what do we do, Mama? We rejoice. Rejoice and be glad and in glad it. glad in it. Look who I got, kids. <laughs> I got Mama Lorraine tonight, and everybody always says, you know, uh, I hear you talk about Mama Lorraine, and who is she? Point her out to me. Well, there she is. I'm pointing her out to you tonight. <laughs> and I hope you've had a wonderful day. We love you so much. If nobody's told you today they love you, I truly love you. And Lighthouse loves you. And Jesus loves you the most. And I can tell you, I already feel his presence tonight, probably because of the content we're going to talk about that is going to be so impactful to you and such a blessing to you. First of all, don't forget to push your notifications so when we come on every night, you get a little ding, a ring there, and you know that uh, we're coming on. And every night at 6.30, you just know there's programming. And we're here trying to bless you. Sometimes laugh a little, cry a little. And then right there on the screen is giving information. Thank you so much for everybody who is giving. I kind of like the new push pay app that Lighthouse Church has now. So if you haven't checked that out, go to the website and see that. But however you give, whatever format you give in, thank you. Lighthouse Church has been so abundantly blessed during this season because of each of you and your faithful giving. And I want you to know I'm grateful. I think it's important, Mama Lorraine, to tell people thank you. Yes. Nobody likes to feel taken for granted. Thank you makes room for more. It really does. Mm -hmm. It really does. Um, so that's why every night, even though you know, you may get tired of hearing me say it every night that we're so grateful for your tithe and your offering and your giving. But I, I, I just can't say it enough mm -hmm. that we really are. So I have Mama Lorraine here tonight, and we're going to talk tonight about weathering storms in our life. I'll set it up just a little bit, and I've got three questions I'm going to pose to Mama Lorraine tonight. But if you've lived life uh, fully, if you've lived a full life, you've weathered some storms. I say it like this, Mama Lorraine. I never call it older. You know we're not getting older. We're getting better. We're getting better. Mm -hmm. We're mature. We're just mature for our age. I don't say I'm getting older. I say I'm getting more mature. That's the word I like to use. I'm getting more mature. If you're mature, you've weathered storms. Mm -hmm. One beautiful part about weathering storms as you mature is that you do tend to care less and less what people think about you. <laughs> when I was a lot younger, I cared so much about what people thought about me. Mm -hmm. I beautiful part about maturity is I just, I'm not that interested these days. Mm -hmm. It doesn't affect me as deeply. We all care, but not as deeply as I used to. And you know that you're doing what you believe in your heart to be right. Yeah. You're trying to find new ways to love on all of us each day. Oh, thank you, Mama. And I, sometimes we laugh a little, sometimes we cry a little. Mm -hmm. But we've, this is a storm we're weathering. And the longer it's gone on, the suicide rate has gone up 250%. Mm -hmm. Alcohol sales are up 890%. And the problem is it, it, it can only be answered in Jesus. I don't know another answer outside of Jesus. And Mama Lorraine always has a saying, I, I adopted it now. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say I stole it. I'm just going <laughs> to say I adopted it. She always says, who wouldn't serve a God like ours? Yes. And that's such a powerful, poignant statement. Psalm 121 is surely one of all of our favorite scriptures. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. I think that's been a scripture, Mama Lorraine, that's guided me through a lot of storms mm -hmm. in my life. You know, people are funny. They look at you and they think, oh, Pastor Dan, he, you know, here he is. He's on television and travels and, you know, blah, blah, debt free. He has no problems. Mm -hmm. People don't. They look at you. <laughs> look how together oh. you are. People don't know. That's right. So tonight we're going to go a little bit behind the scenes, and we'll just talk to you from our heart. Mama Lorraine, I'm going to ask her three questions. The reason I have Mama Lorraine on tonight is because, like me, she's a church kid. Her dad, she's an only child, her mom and her dad pastored a mega church in Chicago before we really used the term megachurches. In fact, the megachurch was 
a large African-American church in Chicago that I'm sure if you're a Chicagoan, you've heard of Mount Pisgah Missionary Baptist Church at... 4600 South King Drive. 4600 South King Drive. Mm -hmm. And um, true story, Mama Lorraine, the first concert that I paid money to go to a concert to, I paid money. I didn't sneak in the side door. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> oh, was it Mount Pisgah? You had the Tommies, the Thompson, Milton Brunson and the Thompson Community mm -hmm. Singers, the Clark Sisters. I'll never forget that night as long as I live. Yes. And it was at Mount Pisgah. Her dad was the pastor there for 60, mm -hmm. 60 years, her mom and dad. Mm -hmm. And they're both resting in heaven now. Yes. And, but as a church kid, mm -hmm. I've had to be really careful with my kids because you know, it's still, I'm your pastor, but I'm my children's dad. Mm -hmm. I'm their father. Mm -hmm. And that makes a difference. So how did you weather, we're going to talk about three things. The first one, how did you weather storms in church? Because without going into depth, we're not going to go into all that. Everybody has storms, okay? And if you go to church long enough, you'll face a storm here or there. What did you do in those storms, Mama Lorraine? How did you handle them? Well, I had a praying mama and a praying dad. You said something right there. And they kept me grounded. And I came uh, to learn that the greater the storm, the greater the blessing on the other end. Mm. So uh, as a young woman, there were some times I didn't quite get it. But the prayers of the righteous okay. availeth, availeth much. much. And uh, it you was through their choice. prayers that... Their prayers that I was brought through, yeah. and no, I didn't have a choice. You didn't have a choice. Uh, I couldn't leave my church because that was my church. I couldn't leave my dad. That was my dad, and I am so happy to be able to say that today, some many, 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 many years down the road, that I truly love Mount Pisgah. I wish them the best. Their pastor now is the Reverend Ledbetter. I want to say the third. But he's a young whippersnapper. Uh, <laughs> That's what my dad would say. Oh, and he's power packed. So we wish them the best. Yeah. And I wish them as much happiness and contentment and peace as I have found right here. Oh, praise God. Well, yeah, and we all want, we all want the home that we grew up in. Uh, in your case, Mount Pisgah. Mm -hmm. You want it to survive. Your mom and dad would want it to survive. Absolutely. That's, the, that's what they taught you. Yes, so, Absolutely. How, as an only child, your dad's the pastor of a mega church in Chicago, and of course those were difficult times. Mm -hmm. Racism was horrific. Mm -hmm. All of those things. But you didn't get the option of, well, I want to go to church. I don't want to go to church. <laughs> church was not an. It wasn't an option. No, we never got up wondering where what we were going to do on a Sunday. Yeah or on a Monday night, or Wednesday night, or Friday now, night. Now, what was Monday night? <laughs> Monday night is when they all roads would lead to the church. That's when they had the big musicals. Oh. Wednesday night was prayer meeting. Thursday night was choir rehearsal. Yeah. And then we were getting ready for Sunday, sometimes on Saturday, Friday nights. All roads. I remember those were yeah. all roads. All roads, streets, <laughs> and avenues. <laughs> lead to. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Those were the good old days. So how... In church, when storms blew, and they, they come and they go, thank God, most of the time we forget about them in time. But what's important is the residue that's left to learn the lesson uh -huh. of how did you survive it. And you do get on the other side. Yes. It yes. doesn't feel like it when you're going uh -huh. through it, but you do uh -huh. get on the other side. What does uh, Bridget say? There will be joy after There'll this? There will be joy after this. Yes. Um, if you can just stay grounded, prayerful. Yeah. And keeping in mind that the same love that you had then is somewhere beneath all of that, even still. And it was. And it was. Uh, there were some days that I cried, some nights that I cried, some nights that I didn't understand. But then, they, as the old song says, you'll understand it better by and by. That's it. And today I, I can tell you that I, I do see, I can understand better. And I'm just so glad that it's... I have nothing but respect for you, Mama Lorraine, because I'll tell you, before we move to question number two, here's why. I can only imagine how difficult it has been in life. 
I, I, I say this to my mom all the time, to watch the transition of how churches function. Mm -hmm. um, my mom was raised in an old school church in the country, Hannibal, Missouri, mm -hmm. Mark Twain's home. And they had a big orchestra. Mm -hmm. They had trumpets, trombones. I mean, it mm -hmm. was, and it was Southern gospel music. Mm -hmm. And Sunday night was the big thing yeah. for them. Sunday night was a big thing in that little country church. And my grandfather, her dad, like your dad, mm -hmm. pastored it for so many years. And everything revolved around the church. Mm -hmm. Life revolved around the church. Mm -hmm. The church didn't revolve around everybody else. Everybody mm -hmm. revolved around the church. That's right. The and church didn't change. The church didn't change. Mm -hmm. And she had to watch, um, as, as honest as I, we're being transparent tonight, she had to watch music change. Yes. It's not the same music. Mm -hmm. She had to watch dress code mm -hmm. change, the, the manner of dress. Mm -hmm. So many things change. And I, a lot of times I look at my mom and I think, you're my hero. And, and you're my hero, Mama Lorraine, because you weathered those, those changes were storms mm -hmm. as churches. Life just, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, preachers are up and they're preaching. They got their raggedy jeans on and, oh my Lord, my mother would have had a, she'd have had a coronary. Yes. yes. And your dad probably would have too. He yes. wear suits all the time. Dad wore a suit and tie every day. Saturdays, every day. Every day. Uh, when we would have our church picnics, he played baseball in a suit Mom and tie. Mom Lorraine. Yes, he yeah. did. Yes, he did. Wow. So you've, you're kind of a bridge. You've bridged between that which is in heaven, gone from us, mm -hmm. to all of us here. But that, I can tell you this, never has my mother or Mama Lorraine ever harangued me <laughs> over how difficult the changes must be. Mm-hmm. Because I think they realize the gospel has to go on. Yes. Yes. We have to reach everyone. We have to reach everyone. Mm -hmm. And you'll be okay. Like, I know you'll be okay. My mother will be okay. But we're always trying to reach the next generation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But the church never changes. It doesn't change. Uh, the message is the same. The method. Ah, say that again, Mama. The message. The message is the same. The method changes. And it must. And it must. Because what did work for you as a teenager growing up in Mount Pisgah, mm -hmm. it, it just probably wouldn't work today. I'll tell you uh, a secret. Tell me. Sean and I. Secrets. We love secrets. <laughs> secret. <laughs> uh, Sean and I visited a church that we fellowshiped with years and years. She was a little girl. And by the time they had the, the devotion and the hymn and all of that, she and I looked at each other and said, where is Samantha? <laughs> where is Samantha? We need Samantha. <laughs> we always say that when we're traveling. Any of my armor bearers that are with me, they're like, could somebody get Samantha up in here? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Yes. So many of the changes have been for good. Mm -hmm. uh, and the truth is we're not going back. I mean, right. it's, it's never going back to that. So you weather the storms by just bracing and going. Okay, here's where we are today. Mm -hmm. Thank God for the past, mm -hmm. but embrace the present. Right. We build on. We build on. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. So that's sometimes how you weather the storms in church. Brian played the drums in church. Your son. Mm -hmm. My son. And there was a mother's board on that side of the church. So there's all of the drums, and then there's the mothers. My father's mother, my grandmother, was the president of the mother's board. Oh, Lord. And she said, it doesn't take all of it that. It just that. doesn't take all. take it all. <laughs> but it was that that drew Brian. So there was some good. See, that's the thing. Yes. That's the thing mm -hmm. right there. I mean, dear Lord, you've seen here, we got kids, we call it hard knocks, those kids banging on the, the buckets and yes. all, you know, all of that. But they're grounded here. I'd yes. rather them bang on a bucket to Kirk Franklin mm -hmm. than to be... Out in the yes. streets acting a With fool. Snoop Dogg With, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so storms in church are inevitable, but misery is optional. Yes. You don't have to be miserable. You just forget those things which are behind. I want to go to the second. Keep sec on loving. Keep on loving. Never stop loving. Never, and my dad's famous words to me was, never forget who you are and whose you are. Mm. 
you can't afford not to love. Do your dad's sermons come to you oh, sometimes? Yes. Do they? Yes. I have uh, a couple of them that he wrote toward the latter days. And there was scribbled so I would. Oh. But just to see his handwriting. Oh. And the last one I read, I think it was, what manner of man is this? And he went on to talk about even the winds and the. It was just. Obey him. Obey him, yes. And uh, I just love him, and I just get such a joy out of looking back through his documents mm. and thinking about the things he said. And Would you change anything about being raised as an only child in a preacher's home? No. Would you change? No. You cherish that now? I do. There's a lesson, too. What seems to be difficult now becomes that which you cherish. Mm. Mm -hmm. in time to come. Yes. Isn't that the truth? That is the truth. Yeah. That is the truth. If we had only known then on, that we were having the best church yeah. of our lives, right. we wouldn't have been pushing for what's next. Yeah. We would have been right there. In to the leave. moment. Today I miss evening service, though. Yeah. Yep. Well, yeah. <laughs> hint, hint. Yes. <laughs> me too. Trust me. Trust me. I miss it. I miss it too. Every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'll have one of the church moms tell me, I miss the choir processioning in. Because remember the yeah. choir processionals yes, in? Yes, the hand behind the back. The hand behind the back. And the yeah. ushers. Or yes. the ushers. Yes. They, they, they made yes. sure. And the nurses. And the nurses. They, they were not they, nurses. <laughs> they were not nurses, but they, <laughs> they were keeping the place Sanitary yeah. and everybody in order. <laughs> Mama, question number two, because I don't want our time to leave us tonight. How have you weathered storms in your personal life? The first one was how did you weather in church, but in your personal life, you don't have to tell me the storms. Because, mm -hmm. um, we've all, again, we've all had personal storms. But Well, this is a quick one because okay. it's most recent. I am uh, weathering now a health storm. Okay. Um, I think I told you that... Um, a few weeks back, Brian came in and found me unconscious in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And we found out then that I had uh, or have uh, diabetes. Mm -hmm. So that's a whole new way of life for you me. You didn't know before that? Uh, no, I wasn't taking medication or anything prior to that. I uh, Once a while back had, they took me off of it, mm -hmm. hadn't taken it for years. Mm -hmm. So now I'm taking insulin, and I'm pricking the finger and uh, watching the numbers go up and then rejoicing when they're down and then I drink a glass of water and they're up again. And yeah. so that's a challenge for me. And, uh, but I'm determined to beat that because I know that God is a healer. I can hear you saying, I speak life, I Mama, speak Lorraine. Life, Mama Lorraine. And I'm believing that. And just like he's done it for others, he can do it for me. That's right. Mm-hmm. And so. he's done it for you other situations in life. Mm -hmm. So if he did it on that, he can do it on the health challenge. Yes. yes. So history, mm -hmm. history helps us to know we weather the storms mm -hmm. prior. We can weather the storms now mm -hmm. in our own life. Mm -hmm. So health. How have you weathered, I didn't warn you, I was going to ask you this, heartbreak, personal heartbreak. And you don't have to tell me the heartbreaks, mm -hmm. but we've all had them. How do you weather personal? Have you ever had a night where you thought, I don't, I don't. I don't think I'll make it through this night. Oh, yes. On a personal heartbreak mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. how, what do you do in that night? Well, that I'm looking at, back at that night as we're sitting here now, and I can remember walking through my home, and I had cried so much. Uh, Pastor, I had cried so until I was tired of myself crying. I hadn't changed my house coat, hadn't yeah. taken the rollers out. I, I was a mess. And I was coming down the stairs, and I looked up and I said, God, don't you hear me? Doggone it. Yeah. I said that. I know. And I thought, I'm sorry. No. I didn't mean that. Yeah. I didn't mean I that. I get it, though. I didn't mean that, Lord. I'm so sorry. And but you actually, can feel that way. Yes, yes. But actually, from that day to this one, if you see me cry now, it's time to cry. Wow. I, I can't fake it like it some It was your can. last tear. You shed that last tear yes. that night. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you just, you cried out to the Lord, mm -hmm. turned it over to, well, we sing, turn it over to the Lord. Mm -hmm. But it was so amazing that the moment I did that, I realized, do you know who you're talking to? Mm. And I wanted to take it back. Yeah. <laughs> but it was out well, there. Well, I've done it. Uh -huh. I've done the same thing, Mom mm -hmm. Lorraine. 
So what would you tell a young uh, mother tonight that's watching who is in a personal heartbreak? We just came through Mother's Day, mm -hmm. and, you know, it, that's a tough time yes. for people. What would you tell a young mom that is struggling with heartbreak, whatever the heartbreak may be, what would your advice be to her, Mama Lorraine? <laughs> Leave them alone, and they'll come home wagging their little tails behind them. <laughs> God has a way of getting their attention just like he did yours, just yeah. like he does That's mine. Right. And uh, that, too, will pass. See, the thing about storms, Pastor, is uh, most of them are seasonal. Mm. Rarely do you find a, a storm that lasts from January through December. Right. Oh, Right. That's that's more than a storm. Yeah. But they're seasonal. And the good thing is they don't last always. So there's some ups and some downs, some good and some bad. But we can make it through those storms. They have a time limit. But we have to tell others because somebody needs to know that just like he did it for you, he did it for me, he can do it for all of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so you'll, you'll be all right. Yes. You'll be all right. You know what I read, Mama Lorraine? Funny you said that, and you're making me cry. Now, you talk about you're not crying, but you're making me cry. Um, your voice is just so comforting and just your presence, knowing that you've Thank weathered you. storms. I read not too long ago, a thunder, a thunder and lightning storm has a maximum lifespan of 44 minutes. Oh, really? I, I never knew that. Mm -hmm. But it cannot, it, the, something with the atmosphere, it it is impossible for a thunder and lightning storm to last longer than 44 minutes. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, when I read that, I thought, well, I think I could handle just about any storm then because I would always know 44 minutes, that, that lightning, that ferocious where it's shaking your house and all that, it can only last about 44, now it may continue to rain, but that bad storm can only last 44 minutes. Well, that's why the Bible surely says, weeping endures for a night, Mm -hmm. But joy comes in the morning. Mm -hmm. It has the storms have a time limit. Mm -hmm. They can only go a certain amount of time. Yes, and then it will pass. Mm -hmm. Think about well, you wouldn't know, but ask Lady Linda tonight about childbirth. Uh, I remember the nurse saying, "It's sixty seconds. Just follow that long hand." That was the longest Ooh, sixty yeah. seconds in the world. Yeah. But it too ended. It ended. And it's a pain that you know it was really bad. It hurt. But you can't describe it. And you didn't stop having them. <laughs> That's the best analogy. <laughs> That's the best analogy right there. Yes. Because you soon forget. You soon forget. And you say, okay, here we go. I'm Sean was my first. I said she'd be the only. Then came Joseph and then Brian. And then I did get enough sense. <laughs> I did stop it after Three that. strikes, you're out. That's it. Yes. Let me ask you the third and final question before our time is up. This one, Mama Lorraine, I saved it. I won't say I saved the best for last. I'll simply say this one may be more, more deep to me and to you and all parents than the others. How do you handle the storms when you watch your children go through? I can barely ask you that because... Uh, Man, watching my kids, it's like, I feel like I can handle the storms. Yes. But when I have to watch my kids uh -huh. go through a storm, that, I didn't find that in the handbook. Nobody taught me that. Uh -huh. It's rough watching your kids go through storms. How do you handle watching your children go through storms? Well, Pastor, that is the hardest. You think that so is, too? That is the hardest. As a parent, we love our children to life. Yeah. We would give our right and left hand arm for them. That's the truth. Sean teases me and says that I am uh, uh, baby Olivia Pope. I'm the fixer. And if you upset her, or hurt her, Joseph, or Brian, you've got me to deal with. Yeah. Uh, but even that, and I say that and I say it with pride, I'll be there for you, and I am. And I have, I have and continue to be there for my children. But it's the hardest to see them cry. And you, oh. can't, you can't dry those tears. Oh. And, and, you know, of course, I'm partial to Shawnee. Shaw, I, we all she know. She calls her Sean, but I, Shawnee. Shawnee is as pure as the driven snow. Mm -hmm. And she'd, give, she'd literally give anybody the shirt off mm -hmm. her back mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. would do anything and cook. 
And when you watch a child that's like that, so giving, mm -hmm. so she pure, is. She is. that's when it's hard and you watch them hurt. Yes. And you know that what could she have done yeah. that would warrant this kind of pain? And she, she told me most recently, Ma, there are some things even Olivia Pope cannot fix mm. because God has ordained it to happen. Shawnee said I, that. I, yes. I have to go through this. And actually, it was that statement that kind of made me feel a little better. Wow. Yes. Wow. And she was my strength even for Lighthouse because I felt uh, a while back, a couple of years now, that I needed to be here with her. Mm. I, needed to be, I needed to sit next to her and be here and yeah. protect her and, yeah. and all yeah. that. And she just smiled. She says, you know, I was coming to morning service, too, without you. <laughs> so she was telling me she was all right. She was all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's a rare breed. But she breed. had you. Well, she's a rare breed, though, mm -hmm. too. She's, a, she's filled with wisdom, so she's rare. Mm -hmm. Sometimes our children are not that spiritually mature. She's spiritually mature. She is. Yeah. So it's, She really is. Yeah. That's a different. Daddy should see her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he would be. He would yes. be very proud. Yes, he would be. But in those nights, because even as spiritually mature as she is, she's had some rough moments. Mm -hmm. What did you say to her? I told her to talk to God, just like she would talk to me, mm. or to you, or to her best BFF. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say it just like it. It feels. Say it like it. Let it come out. Let it flow. Amen. Because he. More so than me, I said, and loving you more than me, that means he's something else. I'm telling you. I said, so, and he's not going to forsake you. It mm. is in he, him that we live, and move, and, move and, and have our, our being. being. Yes. Yeah. So you just point her to the Lord. Yes. Well, that ends us tonight right there. I will lift up mine eyes mm -hmm. where, right where we started. To the hills. To the hills. Mm -hmm. From whence cometh our help. help. Mm -hmm. uh, all day today, as I was knowing <laughs> that I was going to see Mama Lorraine, uh, I kept feeling that scripture. When you weather the storms of life, they don't make sense. We can, you, I've almost driven myself crazy sometimes, I don't know about you, trying to figure out, well, why do I have to go through this? Yes. There, there's no answers to that. Mm -hmm. I still don't have answers to, to many of those storms. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. But as you just said, we'll understand it better mm -hmm. by and by. Mm -hmm. Mama Lorraine, tonight before we go, and I've so enjoyed my time with you tonight. Thank you, Mama Lorraine. Mm -hmm. And will you come back and talk to me oh, again? Oh, anytime. And we'll talk about everything on your paper next time. <laughs> I don't think we got to any of that. That's quite all right. That's quite all right. <laughs> but is there anything else you want to say tonight before we go? Because I want to have you pray for everybody. Okay. Well, I, I would just say to those... Um, listening in, that we're here, even you, on Mama Prayers, Mama yes. Daddy's Prayers. And yes. uh, again, the prayers of the righteous availeth yeah. much. And if we can just stay fast in his word, mm. be prayerful, yeah. be strong, yeah. and want to genuinely help others. So sometimes we have to tell a little bit more than what we would want to tell because it may be just what you oh, need. That's the truth. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. You heard wisdom tonight. Mama Lorraine, look right in that camera and pray for people. This prayer is for you that are struggling tonight with a storm in your life. Heavenly Father, I come tonight. I come on behalf of all of us, each of us that are weathering storms. Yes, Lord. Lord, I ask that in spite of these storms, that you give us a grateful heart. I want you to know tonight, Lord, that I thank you tonight for Pastor Dan and for Lighthouse Church. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you for my church family. I yes. thank you for my family. I thank you for my friends. I thank you, Lord, for a reasonable portion of health and strength. I thank you, Lord, for family and friends. Lord, I, I want you to gird up, strengthen those young people and old alike that are weathering the storm of depression. Yes, Lord. That are thinking of taking their lives. Yes, God. 
old and young. Yes. Let them know that you're here for them. Yes, Lord. Let them know that without you, there can be nothing. But with you, all things are possible. Lord, and then as I close in prayer tonight, I want you to know and I want those listening in to know that we can do all things yes. through Christ who strengthens us. Yes. Give every care, cast every care upon the Lord. Yes. For he hears, he cares, and he will answer prayer. I know it because he's done it for me. It is in the mighty and miraculous name of Jesus I pray. And it is so. Amen. 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 I know you can feel the presence of Jesus tonight. Mama Lorraine, we all love you. And we I love you. We Thank need you. you. Our church is so much better uh, because of you. Thank you. And every we just love you. That's all I know to say. We love you. We thank God for you. And thank you for imparting to us tonight. And thank you for accepting me and mine. And we're home. Amen. And we're home to stay. Well, you are, you are. I tell everybody, you're, you know, you're stuck with this uh, high yellow boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I say that you're my pastor. You're my son, and you're my best friend. Oh, I love you, Mama Lorraine. Love you. Now, don't you forget what we've talked about tonight. You'll be all right. Yes. You'll be okay. Turn it over to the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Surround yourself. Let me give you this as we leave you tonight. Surround yourself with some people who celebrate you. Don't just tolerate you. Absolutely. That's a big thing in life. Make sure you got a few folks that they let you be you. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I love you, Mama Lorraine loves you, Jesus loves you more, and we're always here for you. Be blessed, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a great, great rest of your evening tonight. Be blessed. Bye-bye.